Hey y'all, it's Janelle from Janelle Ray Budgets and it has been a minute you guys. I was, as most of you know, I was on vacation um, and we got back. So here I am filming. It's a Monday, which I don't typically film on Mondays, but I am filming this Monday. Um, so we're going to do a few things in this video. I had said that when I got back or if we were in Mesquite and I got a chance, I would um, film a budget video for how I kept track of our budget and just kind of explain that for Disney. And then um, we are going to stuff some challenges. And so, yeah, so come hang out with me while we do this. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and just take the money out. Um, there is $327 here. So I'm not going to count it. I'm just going to stick it in the tray. There's a lot of ones. We are dealing with a lot of ones like we typically do on this channel. But um, so I'm going to stick that there and we'll get to that here in a minute. Um, the first thing I want to do is go through this budget. So um, I have this little sheet here and I just wrote this out so I could kind of explain to you, you all how I did this. So what I did is if you guys have been paying attention or watching me for a while, then you know that I had a binder full of what I wanted for each category. So then what I did is I allowed us, sell our, um, us to have an allotted budget for each day. So um, I took the money and I budgeted out what we would use for each day. It didn't quite work out as I had hoped because I did under plan for food. Food was very, very, very expensive. And that was even with us. Um, the kids ate a lot of PB&Js and stuff, but it was still just for my husband and I and my two older kids to eat. It was very expensive. So um, I'm going to go through this and try to explain what I did. So the food budget, um, I had $1,000 is what I had budgeted. We ended up spending $1,673.79 on food. That was just food. So um, what I did is I kept all the receipts and then I added them up at the end to see what our actual spending was. So we went over our budget by $673.79. Okay. Um, so souvenirs, our souvenir budget, which was any shopping or anything that we did, we tried not to buy a lot of stuff. Um, Amelia did get a pair of ears because it was her first time in Disneyland. The boys had ears from our last trip. Um, then I got a new coat. Let's see, I'm trying to think what else. Um, Amelia's um, boutique was in this. And then um, my husband got a few things as well. So that is the budget. So we had $1,000 for the budget. We spent $626.35. We went, like I said, we went very sparingly on anything because I didn't want to just buy a bunch of stuff for the kids, especially since we were so close to Christmas. I didn't want to just spend a bunch of money on stuff. So we actually ended up being under budget $373.65, which means we had that much left over from that budget. Um, our gas budget was $600 and we actually, I actually hit that almost right on the head. We spent five eighty five forty seven, and that was for, um, driving to California, um, driving around in California and then driving home, um, back to Mesquite and then home. So we ended up <laughs> with $14 and 53 cents left over there. And then, um, our, Mesquite budget was $600. Um, so basically our biggest spending there was us going to Meow Woof. Other than that, we went to the Mega Mart in Vegas. Other than that, we didn't really spend anything. My mom did a lot of cooking. Um, and so we had breakfast and um, dinner cooked for us. And so I just, I gave my mom some money towards food. But other than that, we didn't really spend a lot in Mesquite. Um, so we ended up with 187.71 left over on that. So I had a thousand dollars in an emergency in case we needed it type deal that I had saved extra. And so what I did was um, to figure out how much we actually spent out of this budget, I took all of these, added them together, then subtracted this, and what was left over was ninety-seven dollars and ninety cents. So we actually came home with nine hundred two dollars and ten cents. That is actually really amazing, I think, because I was fully expecting, especially when I saw how expensive food was, for us to go completely over and blow the budget 
just completely, but we actually ended up with $902.10 left over of this um, $1,000 extra that I took. I am very, very thankful and glad that I was able to save that extra thousand and take it though. But um, so that's just this. I didn't include like our hotel. We did have a hotel stay, but all of that was already budgeted for. And so what I did is I just took that money out. So this was the money that um, I was most worried about and especially food and souvenirs. But I think we did really good. I'm really, really happy with the way that that went. And so I, you guys, it was an amazing trip. It was so much fun. My kids just, they had a blast. Um, Disney, two days of Disney, one day of California Adventure and then Universal. And it was just, it was amazing. It was, it really was like, I couldn't, I couldn't have asked for a better trip. Um, I do have a few photos. I will, um, go ahead and insert them now. I'm not going to do a lot of photos because I, um, actually, you know what? I changed my mind <laughs> right now. Thinking about this, I am not going to insert any photos. Um, I don't really necessarily want my younger kids faces out there. So, um, I'm not going to, if you're friends with me on Facebook, then you did see some of the photos. But other than that, um, just know that we had a really fantastic time. Amelia, um, made the most beautiful princess. Um, of course I'm biased, but she was gorgeous. And then the boys, I mean, we just had so much fun. We rode almost everything. There was a couple rides that were down while we were there and we couldn't ride, but I mean, it was just, it was so much fun, you guys. And I really needed the trip. Um, it was just, yeah, I'm just, I'm very, I'm very, very happy that we decided to do it. And the Mesquite, of course, like I've been saying, was our vacation from the vacation. And it really was. It was very relaxing and just calm and a lot of fun. They got to do the razor riding, which is a side-by-side -side UTV. Um, so they did that. And it was just a lot of fun. It, yeah, it was just a really great trip. And I am back and ready to work on all of you guys's orders. Um, I am going to work especially hard to get everything out before Christmas. Um, we're gonna, yeah, my mom and I are gonna bust, bust some booty and try to get this stuff to you guys as fast as possible. Uh, we already got right back into it. The minute that I basically walked in the door, I started looking at stuff and getting stuff printed out and all of that. So, um, be expecting orders to be shipped out here you know, very soon. So, um, yeah, but, and I did go ahead and decide to do a black Friday sale. Um, I wasn't going to do another one, but I did. And so wait, that's 20 and then 25. So, um, 25. So we'll put this into our little nomies. We're still working on October. Like I said, I'm not really too worried about this now because, you know, the trip is over. That's what I was mostly saving this for. Um, but we will continue to save because we have other vacations planned that we want to do. So, um, yeah, so we'll just continue to save up and, you know, plan those. But anyways, um, so orders, you know, we will be starting to ship those out. I did do a Black Friday sale. I can't thank you guys enough. There is still time. It ends tonight. So, um, real quick before I get into the rest of the cash stuffing, I wanted to show you guys a few things. Um, I did work while I was on vacation, so I was able to make a few things. So this is the first one. Um, it is a Christmas. I know it's ahead of time, but I was planning for next year. So it is a 52 week savings. Um, it's $13.78 plus there's a scratch off bonus. Um, it is not just Grinch. There is Grinch, there is a Mickey, and there is Peanuts. And it is the same thing as the 52 weeks. You just save for week 13, you save $13 and there's the envelopes. And then of course there is a scratch off because, you know, I just figure one of my challenges wouldn't be complete without a scratch off. So, um, there is a bonus scratch off in there, which will give you a little bit more than the 1378. So this is available now. Um, and then and it is part of the sale. This is something that I really love. And, um, I am very excited about these. So what they are is they are a personalized budget binder. So what you will do is if you order this, you will send me six pictures, six pictures. There's three on the front for the three hearts and three on the back. Um, the colors of the stars can change. So I have right now, I have this pink one. There's a purple one, a blue one, 
um, a green one, a red one, I think there's five. And I can't remember if that's all of them or not. So, and then you will get to put whatever you want here. It doesn't have to be Janelle Ray Budges. It could just be your name. It could be a family name. It could be whatever you want it to be. But you get to pick um, three different pictures for the front and then three pictures for the back. I will put them in and personalize it for you. And then before I send it to you, I will proof it, make sure that you guys approve. And then the envelopes on the inside will just be the blank envelopes with the label so that you can save for whatever you want. It could be a vacation binder. It could be a month ahead binder, a sinking fund binder, whatever you want. And they will match the colors. The stars will be a little bit bigger, but they will match the color of the outside is how that is going to work. So um, this is available now. It is under, under personalized budget planner. And like I said, you will get to send me six pictures, whatever pictures you choose, and I will try to make them work. If they won't work, like I tried to show you guys what it would look like with um, group photos, the farther away group photo. And then I did my kitties here. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then, well, I just showed my baby girl, but there's Amelia right there. And so that is that. That binder is available. And then I had somebody ask me if I would make a sloth binder. So I did. Um, I don't have the envelopes for this one printed out yet, but they are sloth envelopes. They are the same as the budget one where you will get to pick what you want to save for. Um, there will be 12 of them. This is the front. This is the back. And then the envelopes go in the middle, of course. And so this is a sloth one. I am working on a couple other ones. Um, there's a flamingo one I'm working on, a peacock one I'm working on, um, a kitty cat one I'm working on, and then a dolphin one that I'm working on. So um, when I have those done, of course, you guys will be the first to see them. I was hoping I'd have them done for the sale, but I didn't get them done. There are also a few other scratch off challenges that have been added. And um, I think that's it. So let's go ahead and go into this binder here. Um, we are going to do, let's see, our 52 week. And let's save. I can find my, um, let's save 18. So 10, 15. Um, 16, 17, 18, and then let's go ahead and do 31. So 10, let's see, 20 and one, 31. Okay. So those are the two that we're going to go do for this. I don't know why I'm organizing it here because I'm just going to have to organize it to put it in. Um, okay, so we are, I mean, we are almost done. There's only four weeks left and I have all of those left. So I need to really get on it um, if I want to finish this, which I really do want to finish it before the end of the year. So we have 1,000 and then... 20, 40, 60, 70, 85, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. So 1,099. Almost 1,100 in there. So that's that one. And I'm really hoping to have this done by the end of the year. Um, so let's see what we have next. We have our 2023. This is the one that I am not sure that I am going to be able to get done, but we'll see. So there's 25, 10, 20, and 5. So how is everybody doing? I feel like I haven't, you know, because <laughs> I haven't. I haven't been on in like two weeks. So um, I've been trying to watch videos and keep up with everything. But so we have 1,000. Um, 1100, 1200, 1300, 20, 30, 40, 5. So, um, yeah, I've been trying to like keep up with the world out there, the budgeting world and <laughs> see what's going on. But, you know, um, oh my goodness. Did I only do one November? I feel like I did more than that. Maybe two Novembers. I'm going to color this one cause I'm pretty sure I did two, but I don't think I finished it. So we're going to do 
Um, you know what? I'm gonna one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen. 25 because <laughs> we have so many ones i'm just gonna go ahead and do it like that um this is going to be a thousand dollars when it's done so we have 500 600 700 20 45 55 56 57 58 59 70 or 60 61 62 63 64 65 66 67 68 69 70 so there's 70 so there's 770 in this one Hopefully, I didn't mess that up. It kind of seems like I don't have enough, but <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, okay, so now we're going to go over here to this Honeydukes challenge that I was doing. This is from Steph's on a Budget. Are we still filming? Yes, we are. Okay, so let's see. Let's scratch this one, and that is a five. Let's do this one, which is a two, one, and two. And let's see what this one is. Three dollars, one, two, and three. I feel like I could just keep going. Two dollars again. One more right here, and it's four dollars. So one, two three and four and I am not going to transfer any of these ones out because like I said we have so many ones so this one is $75 when it is done so we have 5 10 15 20 25 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 so did anybody do any Black Friday shopping? Um, I did not do any Black Friday shopping, actually. Um, I did buy a pair of shoes for my kid this morning, so I guess that's Cyber Monday shopping. Um, so there's that. But other than that, I did not do any Black Friday shopping. So did anybody get any good deals? One, two, three, and four. I know sometimes there's good deals, and sometimes it doesn't seem like there's a deal at all, but... One, two, three, and four. We're going to do one more. And five. Okay. So. I had joked with my husband that I was going to do Black Friday shopping while we were in the car. But I didn't even, I slept most of the time because we woke up so early and left. I felt bad leaving him to drive, but I was so tired. Um, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. So 54, we're halfway done, a little over halfway done with this one. Okay. And then we have our little cards here. These are from Busy Lizzie Budgets. And um, these are little jack cards. So there's a three. So one, two, and three. And then 15. So 10, 11, and 12. Okay. And I'm going to scratch one more. Um, nine. Um, let's put in this 10 and take back this dollar. Let's see what this side has. Eight. Okay, so five, six, seven, and eight. And then I'm going to go ahead and put these back and grab this 20. Okay, so let's see what we've got in this one so far. And I don't even know how much this one is. Um, when it's all completed, how many cards do I have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So there's fifteen cards left. So 
quite a bit left in that one. I don't know if I'll be able to get it done by the end of the year, but we will see. So let's see what we have. 20, 40, 60, 70, 85, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 106 in that one so far. I think it's going to be quite a bit. I can't remember. I don't know if she told me or not. And if she did, I don't remember. So it's my bad if she did. And I just can't think of it. So we're going to do this little 7 right here. And this 8. And that's 15. So a 10 and a 5. 10 and 5. So we have 10, 20, 35, 45, 55, 56. 56 in this one. Okay, and this one is from Liz over at Liz and Liz. And then we have this one from Snow Gardener. Um, it's 307, so from Marlene. Roll a dice. Okay, let's see what we got. Roll Jack here. And we've got a five, so we'll put that, and then another five, and then an eight, so five, six, seven, and eight, and we only have three left on this one. Five, I know. I should probably wait, but I'm just going to go ahead and finish it. Five, six, and seven, and seven. Five, six, and seven. Okay, so that is a done challenge. And we will write finished on it. I hate writing on the back because... Finished 11... 27 and let's see how much we ended up with because I had that really huge um one at the beginning that made me like triple it or whatever or double and then I got a 10 or a 10. what did I get I don't even remember but I know that it was a lot so so let's see what we ended up with here are we still filming? We are still filming. Mike's on 10, 20, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, and $90 in that one. So we're going to put $90 right there. Okay, so that's a finished challenge. We'll go stuff that here in a minute. Let's see how much we have left. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have $16 left. Let's see. I did 16 on that one. Um, let's go see what we can do in the Honey Poops Challenge here. So we have one and two. And one, two, and three. Oh, I don't know if I have anything that has an 11 on it. Hmm. That's five. So that's three more. So that's eight. Eight. <laughs> And four is 12. Oh, man, look at that. So we ended up with owing this a dollar. So I'm going to take it out of there. And I know that's going to make that uneven, but at least I won't have an IOU. And there we go. <laughs> so that is the stuffing. The stuffing of the savings challenges, anyways. And I have a mess on my desk, like usual. Okay, so... We'll go there, and then we're going to go ahead and just um, stuff this in here. So, um, let's see, we have this 
$90. So I'm going to put a 10 in emergency. So we have 20, 40, 60, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 604 in emergency. That's amazing. House taxes. Let's go ahead and put 10 in there. Okay, 500, 600, 700, 800. Um, 10, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 30. I'm going to put this last 10 in there and make it 843. Um, okay, and then we have house insurance. So I'm going to do 5, 10, 15 in house insurance. So we have 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 50, 5, 60, 5, 70, Some of these I'm going to have to start bumping up or we are going to be in trouble. Heart insurance, 5, 10, 15. So we have 20, 40, 55, 65, 66, 67. And there, there is no rhyme or reason to my madness. I am just stuffing, stuffing. Ryan always gets something. So we're going to give him 10. So he has 1,211. 1,211. Tyler will get 10 as well. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. They always have the same amount. Well, you know, always, but then I fix it and make sure they do. And then we'll put into the kids. They'll get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they have 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, so $303. Okay, and there we go. That is all I have for y'all, except for if you watch this to the very end, you could very well be a lucky winner of one of the new binders. So. If you are interested in the sloth binder, sloth binder, please put hashtag sloth. And I will try to remember to put that up on the screen, but hashtag sloth in the comments down below. And if you are interested in a custom binder, one with the pictures, the pictures and your name, please put hashtag custom, hashtag custom down below. And if you are interested in the Christmas 52 week savings challenge plus scratch off bonus, <laughs> please put hashtag Christmas 52, Christmas 52. And then I have a Mickey binder. So if you are interested in a Mickey binder, put hashtag Mickey, hashtag Mickey. And if you are interested in the Potter 52, put hashtag Potter, hashtag Potter. Um, this will run through the end of November. So um, let's see. I will be filming Saturday the 2nd. So this will run through the 1st, December 1st. Midnight. Well, 11.59 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. That is when this will end. Um, and then I will do the drawing in my Saturday video when I stuff my savings challenges or whatever I'm doing. I don't know because I need to come up with some sort of a schedule. But um, to get back into this, we are going to stuff on Saturday. So hashtag again, those <laughs> I'm not going to go back through those hashtags because there was a few. But um, 
rewatch the video, get the hashtags. I will put them up on the screen. Hopefully I will remember. And this will run through the first, my camera hates me. I am telling you. So it shut off on me because I can only film for 30 minutes, which I don't understand that. It doesn't make any sense. But anyways, I was saying, get your hashtags in. Thank you so much for watching. I am so glad to be back. Um, I missed you all. You guys be on the lookout for some new stuff. Oh, you guys, I forgot one other thing that I wanted to mention. And I don't have it in front of me because um, it didn't, it didn't print. <laughs> Let me, uh, let me see if I can get it to print real quick while y'all are on the, no, I'm not even going to try. Um, okay. So what it is, and I will very well try to get it printed and show you guys in the next video, because you need to get your orders in for this. If you are interested, I am doing a, I'm going to do a monthly binder for the whole month of, or for the whole year. Um, each month will have its own binder. It will say on the front in the cutout like these do. So like this right here, it will say January or February or March or April, and it will have a picture. I'm very much trying not to make it a holiday related themed binder. It will be more of like January will be more for like um, snow and February. I'll figure something else out. I mean, it might have hearts on it because you guys, I mean, February is like the heart month, but I'm trying not to do only challenges that are for like Christmas or New Year's or whatever for the holiday in that month. So in that binder, in the binder, there will be, it's a mystery binder. So you guys won't see what's in it until you get it, but you will see the cover. In the binder will be eight challenges. So the eight challenges will be A6 envelope style challenges. They could be roll and save challenges. They could be scratch off challenges. They could be color in challenges. Um, there is going to be at least two new challenges in each binder that is new that nobody has seen. They will not be released until after the binders are shipped out and then they will be released. So um, there will be at least two maybe more, but at least two. And then there will be six other challenges that are previous challenges from my shop, but they will be challenges that were made into a six size so that they could fit on the envelope. Um, they might be scratch offs. They might be roll and save. They could be um, anything really, anything to do with it doesn't necessarily even have to be for that month. It could be, you guys, I'm talking any challenge, any challenge that has ever been released in my shop that has been a five by seven, a four by six, an A6 challenge, um, the square ones that I have, any challenge, it could be any challenge that I've ever had available in my shop, even if they're not available now. It could be a challenge like that. And um, these are for pre-order. So I would like for everybody, if you are interested, these will stop. I will remove January on the 15th of December. The 15th of December will be the last day to order them. They are included in the sale that is going on right now, but the last day to order them will be the 15th of December so that I can have them to you by January so that you guys can start them in January. So the 15th of December will be the last day and then they will not be in my shop anymore. So they are a pre-order item right now. If you order now, you will get it sooner. Um, but the 15th will be the last day to order those. You guys, I'm really excited about this. I think it's going to be really cool. It will be a binder like this. Um, it will be a cutout binder like this. The challenges will be inside. They will be envelopes, but they will be like this one here. Um, where it will have your challenge on the outside of the envelope like this. Um, so that will be the challenge that will be with inside the binder. And there will be eight challenges in the month of January, eight challenges in the month of February. And every month, um, by the end of, by the time December's go out, I will have February's binder and be getting ready to show it so that you guys can start ordering it before January 15th. The 15th of the month will be the close date for all of these binders so that I can get them out to you in enough time for the month. Okay. So that is all I have. Now I am done. I almost forgot to tell you guys about that. So now hashtag January, hashtag January will get you entered in to win one of those um, mystery binders. 
Um, the challenges that are in the mystery binder, if they are available, if they will be available, I will put them up after the 15th. You guys, or after, well, hmm, I'm trying to think. No, they will become available in the month. So they will become available in January. That gives everybody a chance that ordered the mystery to see them first. So that is, that is all I have. Um, if you guys have any questions or if you have a custom binder that you would like made, um, you want cows or you want horses or you want, you know, it to say blah, 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 or something, go ahead and message me. Um, I, like I said, I did a sloth for somebody. I did the penguins for Ren. Um, I'm working on the cat challenge or the cat binder is a specific for somebody. Um, and then I have a couple others that have asked me for custom binders. So if you are interested in something that I have not mentioned or that you have not seen, please just let me know, give me a message and we will see if we can come up with something for you. So, okay guys, I think I've rambled your ears off enough. I hope that you guys have a wonderful work week ahead of you or if you're on vacation, a wonderful vacation, or if you are a stay-at-home mommy, I hope you have a wonderful week staying at home with your children. Um, I hope that everything goes well for you. You have a wonderful week, a blessed week, and we will see you in the next video. Remember, the, um, the giveaway will end on December 1st, so um, get those hashtags in, and we will see you in the next video. Bye, y'all!